Good Wednesday morning. It's January 13th, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bites Last, which you can find at guymcpherson.com. I'm going to present a science update here, and I would encourage you to go to guymcpherson.com where you can read the original papers that I'm going to cite. The first of them is from Live Science, and it's titled Towering Ice Arches in the Arctic Are Melting putting last ice area at risk of vanishing. And most notable from this paper is the quote at the end from the lead author of the paper, Kent, Mar Kent Moore, who says, the scale is so huge and the region is so remote. The only thing we can do is cool the planet down. Then the arches will hopefully naturally form again. That's the quote from the lead author. It relies upon hope, which is a little curious for a scientist. And it says the only thing we can do is cool the planet down. There has been no way demonstrated to stabilize the global average temperature, much less cool it down. So I think we're relying on a little bit of false hope to come across with that message. The paper being quoted in the Live Science Report is from Nature Communications. It's by Moore and colleagues. And it appeared, I believe, on January 4th of 2021. And the take home message from this paper is included in the last two sentences of the abstract, which read, we show that the duration of arch formation has decreased over the past 20 years while the ice area and volume fluxes along Nari's Strait have both increased. Bear in mind that ice area increasing does not, in this case, translate to ice volume increasing, quite the opposite. So thin ice is forming. In addition, the, the paper mentions volume fluxes, that's variations in volume, not an increase or a de decrease per se. Final sentence of the abstract. These results suggest that a transition is underway towards a state where the formation of these arches will become atypical. Remember, this is the, sometimes called the last Arctic ice. If formation of these arches becomes atypical, that tells me that the Arctic ice is going away. To start again with that final sentence, these results suggest that a transition is underway towards a state where the formation of these arches will become atypical with a concomitant increase in the export of multi-year ice, accelerating the transition towards a younger and thinner Arctic ice pack. And in one of my recent peer-reviewed articles, I pointed out that the Arctic ice is already headed for a very thin and slushy condition and has been for quite a few years. Behind the scenes then, there's a fellow who goes by the name Mark Austin and claims that's his cover name as he works for the United States surveillance security state. And he wrote me an email message that includes these lines. He's referring to the Summit supercomputer. Quote, due to September 23rd, 2023 BOE, that's Blue Ocean Event, or Ice Free Arctic, which he says is gonna occur late September, 2023. Due to September 23, 2023 BOE, we can't be doing this big election show anymore in 2024. Right, because in 2024, after the initial ice-free Arctic in 2023, I suspect the rapid decline in Arctic sea ice in 2024 means that this set of living arrangements breaks down and we lose habitat for humans all over the planet. In other words, the federal government supercomputer upon which this individual relies indicates an ice-free Arctic in 2023, which certainly is consistent with the peer-reviewed article by Moore and colleagues, with full impacts of that event being manifest the following year. 
So he anticipates loss of habitat for humans on Earth no later than 2024. And as I pointed out in the peer-reviewed literature, my latest paper for the peer-reviewed literature, that seems to match quite well with the indications I'm seeing with the ice-free Arctic being the one that the, the humans on Earth have the least ability to control. Thank you for paying attention and stay tuned for another science update in about a week. Thank you.